My name is Danny Strakel. I'm a paranormal investigator, filmmaker, and photographer from Morgantown, West Virginia. And in November of 2020, I was contacted by a family with claims of heightened paranormal activity in their early 1900s home. Zoe was crying one night. She said this thing was, this rope was swinging. She kept saying she seen a man by her window. After one investigation and capturing some of my most compelling paranormal evidence, I returned to the home for a second investigation with longtime friend and empath Marcus Johnson. During our second investigation, things took a dark turn, and Marcus was channeled by a negative and malevolent spirit. Causing concern for the family and Marcus's safety, I need to call in some backup. Hey, Steve, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? Um, well, do you remember that case that I was calling you about back in November? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, so, I know that I've, like, talked to you about this house, and I think that it's going a little bit darker than what I was first expecting to find out of this place, and... I don't think it's the, the people that owned it just before them, before Tyler and Farrah owned it. I think it's not Dorothy and it's not Pastor Kenny. I think something's there before, and I don't know what it is, um, but I know that maybe since your cleansing um, is faith-based and the, the way that you were talking to me about it last time, uh, I think it'd be beneficial um, to the spirits that were religious, and maybe you can kind of help us kind of figure out what we're dealing with down here. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you available today? Yeah, I can be out there um, towards the uh, afternoon evening. Sick. Um, that's a huge relief. On, on my end and for Tyler and Farah, um, cause I told them that I would, I might enlist you <laughs> and I want you to experience this for yourself, man. Like it's, it's, it's something else. Yeah, I'll be, uh, happy to, I'll stop out there for a little bit and, and help you guys out. Awesome, man. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll send you the address and uh, I'll see you here on 430. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, man. Nick and I are on our way to the Mount Morris Mystery House, which at this point in time, the fourth episode premiered last night on our YouTube channel. And today is a very special day. Steve Hummel from Paranormal Quest and Archive of the Afterlife. I talked to him on the phone earlier. He's heading down to the house to meet us there. This is gonna be his first time in the house. He's only seen the episodes that we have out. So I'm just kind of excited to see how Steve is feeling. Earlier on the phone, he, he told me that he was uh, really pulled to that doll. 
and I'm, I'm really interested to see his reaction to the first walkthrough uh, that he's about to go do here in just about 20 minutes. So I'm really, really nervous. I have this feeling in the pit of my gut that something's gonna happen tonight with one of us. I had this really weird vision uh, deja vu thing while I was in Richmond. And uh, I'm not gonna say who because Nick's in the car and I don't want him to be influenced by, you know what I'm saying. It's not Nick, I'll say that, but there's someone in the group tonight that I feel is gonna be very affected by um, the investigation that we're about to go do. Hey buddy. What's going on boss man? Not much. How's it going? How's the house? Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Right on. Black shadow, what, yesterday? Really? Last, or night before last, come up the stairs, walk straight into that wall. So it's there. Yeah, it's there. Steve Hummel will be here soon. Awesome. So, um, he said about 4.30. Okay. So, hopefully when he gets here, we're just, I'm just gonna let him feel the place out. Okay. On the phone earlier, he said he's real interested in uh, you know, he's real interested in that doll. Mm. So okay. I'm gonna just see where he feels the most energy being pulled, and I'm just gonna see where whatever whatever way he wants to go with it. I just want him to feel it out and investigate with him a little bit. Okay. Like I was gonna tell you, I don't think it's Dorothy and Kenny. No. Not like no. There's no way. No, I don't. I don't believe that either. And so I I think there's just something from the past that we don't know about, and I want to see if. Steve feels anything, um, you know, when he comes through. Oh, sounds good to me. Cool. Well, let's get loaded in, guys. Where we did last uh, time. Oh, whoa! Yeah, that's whoa! So this is uh, this is totally new to me. Look at this. Oh wow! Oh, dude. This is so different from the first time when we were when we were in the house. Yeah. Holy shit, yeah. This is awesome. Hey. Hi. Dude. Evidence. Dude, <laughs> scary stuff. You don't say. Next no. time give us somewhat of a warning, man. Yeah, this uh this feels really good and like good energy, in here. good energy. So yeah, let's just make this uh home base. Home base. Yeah. We're taking all the animals with us. Oh, nice. So that way it's quiet, but I also gotta grab my chickens from upstairs. I'm glad I just documented you saying that. So <laughs> good. That that way we know for sure no well, animals the are in the house. Chickens are up in our room, and they'll go crazy if they hear a noise. <laughs> Give me a hug, dude. What's going on, man? How you been? Doing good. How about you? Uh, dealing with this stuff. Yeah? Yeah. How you doing? What's up, Vicky? So yeah, man. This is it. Feels different just because the uh, Christmas tree isn't here now. Yeah, I might have been peeking a little bit on Zillow. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it's an interesting place. I will say that. Hey, yo, this is Steve doing? and this is Vicky. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah, and this is Tyler. Hello. How you doing, sir? Good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, I, I, I told them that I wanted you to come down here because the way you deal cleansings is faith-based and maybe whatever's here um, will resonate a little bit more with you than yeah. dealing with what... I'm more spiritual and uh, positive magic based. I don't think the spirits here really uh, like that too much. I'm gonna have you you guys tell him what you told me uh, when I first showed up about that figure. We were in bed the other night and <clears throat> I went to come out of my room and there was a black figure that just went up the steps and right into the wall right there into the girls' room. So when we're in your room is that you can see that obviously from upstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, our room's like right here facing out. The girls' room's here, and then yeah, the boys', boys. room and bathroom. Do you want to just chill out for a sec and then get like a vibe? I, we were all going to just get our gear set up and uh, walk through. Yeah, do a walkthrough. Yeah. Oh, what? Why did that just say that? Why did you? It said it, yes, then that's what I figured. Well, where did that come from? I don't know. I didn't. Like, what made your watch talk? I didn't get it to talk. It just talked. Sure. Yeah, okay, so. We just realized that Steve is somewhere in the house and no one's filming him, so. <laughs> this is so weird. And then Randy's watch just said that's what I figured out of nowhere. Well, like, it we was didn't right even. When he asked you if you wanted him to go up there and film. Yeah, and then yeah. it said that's it what I figured. That's yeah. so weird. Well, so you went weird. to hand him like the camera it was Like, it was a. Because yeah. well. I was like, yeah, I was about to be like, just go. Nope. And that's what I figured is like a, a thing I would be like, oh yeah, that's what I figured. I want you to go film. Yeah. Almost like I said it for you. That was weird. Remy. Get out too. It's my son for her. And Zoe made him up. Oh, cool. I came in here when I first walked through. I walked over to here and I didn't really mess with this because it's not my place. But that was kind of open. I opened it a little bit and peeked in. Mm. So this room here and definitely the, uh, the little girls' room, the one in the back. Yeah. These, this, those two rooms I felt pulled to the most. Your guys' room, I didn't. I felt very neutral mm -hmm. in a way. So I didn't feel anything. So, so it's back here. Yeah, man. It's up top there. Uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, you say she came with the house? Yep. yep. She was sitting somewhere else when we moved in, but I know I put her up there. Nervous? Yeah, that doll hasn't been touched. He's the first person that touched the doll. Well, I'm glad because he's, <laughs> he's the one with the haunted museum. <laughs> he's the only one that should touch the doll. So, yeah. The lady that lived, the old lady that lived here when we were coming to look at the house, apparently the attic was full of those old dolls. Okay. She took all of them, but not that one. But some of them, but some of them were headless. Or were, were they different dolls that were headless? Those were the angels. Those were the angels. But, but, the, but so they were different than those? Oh yeah, okay. they were just the little figures. Oh, uh, okay, okay. No, she had a whole bunch of those glass dolls in the attic. Like the attic was stuffed apparently with those. But that one got left somehow. But that one got left somehow. And it's been in that closet. Oh. You feeling anything? You feeling anything? Comfort in my head. Yes. That's we have the what I had last time. Well, that's where. And I got real hot. He was affected. Dang, should I got the EMS detector? Sure. Yeah. Go, yeah. Where's it at? It's in the um, the black Vivitar bag that I was gonna have you wear. Okay. Oops. It's almost a chaotic feeling. Not very strong, but I think it can be. Yeah. It's like, you know, you can get fluctuations and, and things like that, you know. I think Nick felt left out. He's right here. Mm-hmm. What's up? Did you get lonely? 
He was getting some B-roll. We were. She wanted to see how Steve felt up here with the doll before we start our investigation. Okay. But this was the the one room, one of the two rooms I felt in was full too. What was the second one? The, the little girl's room. Yeah. Hey, will you film him for a second? I'm gonna take a picture right now. Yeah. Hmm. You know, one thing I've learned. You know, collecting items, you know, that are charged or haunted, whatever you want to call them, that people automatically think they're going to be an old beat-up doll from the 30s. Mm -hmm. And it's not always true. This here definitely has a charge to it. And I kind of think... Um, that... A lot of it comes from being touched by whatever um, we'll say spiritual elements that came down from the room above up in the attic. Well, I'm thinking this uh, this this was actually appreciated by the person who originally owned it, but nope, get away, nope, we gotta change. We gotta change. There we go. But, That's a milligauss spike right here. But, That's a milligauss spike right here. It was a 1.6. It, it's a steady milligauss spike. Whoa. Six. That's a six. That. Five point five, five point seven, six, one. This is higher than the spike that we got in the attic. And it's by this doll. Six point three. I've got chills through oh my body my right God. now. It, it was They're a seven. Cold, but it's like chills, what? it's energy. Oh I just saw I just I just saw a light anomaly by my arm, dude. I really hope I captured that. Yeah, I've got two other cameras on it. So hopefully, because I may or may not have saw one, but I don't know if it was a feather when I first grabbed it, and it went this way. Look, look, oh. look, look. 8.4. 7.2. 7.3. 7.7. It's interesting. It's still with me right here. No offense, Steve, but I'm glad you're touching that thing. Hold on. It's it's slowly getting just more faint around me. It's below it. Shit, it was just that area. Nah, dude. Yeah. It's it's the doll. Yeah. Here, you hold it. <laughs> I say the next experiment would be taking the doll out of this room and see how it reacts. Let's walk out. Oh shit. And it stopped as soon as you said that. It's never been out of the room. Come to the other room. Nothing. Well, let's try to bring the EMF detector back in here. Yeah. Without the doll. Keep the doll out there. Get away from me. <laughs> There's an intense cold spot right here, dude. Oh, it, that puppy went in that room. I saw the tail move. Intense cold spot. Holy crap. Yeah. They climbed in this closet, bro. Yeah, Eight. it has to do with that whatever filtered down in that room. Like four, five, six, seven. Now we have to take into consideration nine. Add it up to a nine nine. Raise it up towards the overhead light. Yeah, put it up there. It should drop. Yeah. Yeah, it's right here in this Good. room. Cause look, it's going to like that's electrical. Yeah. And that is dropping in spike when we're when we're in this area. It's it's still at a seven. 
It might be mad. See, dude, it goes to 10. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, now I'm it's curious right what here. is behind it's that It's right wallpaper. where you were, dude, it's right where you were standing. Did, did you, That's where it gets the highest. Oh, hold on, Marcus. Let me see that thing. It just dropped to a zero flat. Oh, to a six? All right, hold on. First off, I need to get rid of, uh, I want to get rid of this, like, noise. Okay, so I mute, I've, I've got it muted because I just want to have a little bit clearer audio. Also, did you guys notice that the chicks aren't as loud now for yes. some reason? Yes. Yeah. Aren't as loud now for yes. some reason. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ball's back up there. He's got an answer. He's got an answer. He's got an answer. He's got an answer. As we are detecting strange high EMF spikes in the room, a spirit says. Then, as I move closer to the closet where the doll has been, another spirit warns us by saying. At the same time, a strange light anomaly moves in a weird fashion down the screen. Now, I cannot confirm that the light anomaly is of paranormal nature. However, I don't believe that it's just a coincidence that it appeared while these voices are captured by our microphone. That, I think, was a yeah. oh, feather. Guys, guys, look. Okay, look. It's dropped. Look how much it's dropped. One yeah, point it's four. green. 1.4 when we were getting spikes of, what, 10? Yeah. It's... I don't think it's... Or was it an energy spike in how the energy's been spent? Yeah. That does happen. Cause look. Oh. Oh. Let me just. Did that one look like six inches down? Dude. That TV's not on. It's funny. It's just the area. No, I was just, I was just thinking like, like waist level. Yeah. Right here. Okay, so what if there is something behind that wallpaper? Hold that real quick. What? And it's down to his... <laughs> that doesn't make sense. And we were just, oh, this is really cold right here. <clears throat> right there. Yeah, it's really cold right here. And there's nothing. Uh, Danny, get away from me with that thing. He made a good point. There's a lot of gnats developing in the bathroom. And he mentioned that you'd figure it'd be the kitchen or something. Yeah, I don't yeah. see any nuts downstairs. Well, we always have that problem well, with the pool table. The pool table, I noticed for some reason, and it's like a really clean table. There was some, there was someone there, but that room is very clean. Also, I'm getting three. It was three eight, a steady three eight, right, right about here. Yeah, four. So it's something. Something's here. Yeah. Like. Back up. Going back up. saw the shadow figure. Oh, well, Nick actually captured the shadow figure. Ooh. Three, five. 
four. Ooh, well, no. It's, it's right around like a four. It's right around like a four. Steady four, and it's it's right in this area. Because if you go any lower, it drops. But right. Hey, come on. Drop. Oh. Well, Seems to be the thing. Energy hangs up in the closet. Six, six five. Oh, drop, dropped. Zero, flat line. Zero, flat lined. Well, this thing will focus would be nice. There you go. Yeah. The temperature's going up a little bit, but because that's rolling in here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Boom. Like me again. It's yeah. It's the center of the room. Good <clears throat> bit. Dude. Why is he now it's away from it? It's starting to go away. That's right. Like it's, it's a big drop. So <laughs> now right around like right, this area I'd say. Is it well to whoever is in this room with us while we're all standing here experiencing you. I'm gonna hold this in my hand, so if you're here, you can make it spike even higher, or you can walk away and, you know, that will let us know that there's something intelligent here uh, communicating with us. If you are, can you knock on a, a wall in this room, or... Um, can you roll one of these balls? There's some purple and yellow balls sitting on the floor. Can you roll one of those? Can you make one of those balls on the floor roll any direction or a person that you feel connected to here? Or a person that you feel connected to here? on one of these devices in front of us. Can you roll one of those balls towards us? Towards me? Those Nick, just working it. Towards me? Yeah, 
it, dude. It's definitely <clears throat> pointed here. Again, it's it's yeah, making me feel that way. I got to I'm gonna step out because, okay. and it just dropped to a flat line. <laughs> it was when I was like, I have to go. Yeah, it's not a consistent reading. No. If it were like a phone, if it were like a power source, it would be steady. Yeah, but no, this is like. I just shoot right up to four. Well, we definitely need to get a spirit box in here at some point tonight. Yeah. We should get out of the room for right now and. Uh, it's a Weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get like that headache, like what you were That's describing. Like, grab, like... Yeah, I'm, I have a splitting headache starting like right here. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's get out of this room for a sec.